This video will demonstrate the integration between Cadence ORCAD Capture and Microsoft Windows Azure Cloud Platform for storage and retrieval of capture data using the Windows Azure Cloud Connector app. You will see how to configure the Capture app and open or save data to or from the cloud inside a capture environment. A new ORCAD Cloud Connector button has been added to the ORCAD Capture Start page. This button allows the Connector app to be configured to link Capture to the Azure Cloud or to simply open or retrieve project data. Configuring the Azure Cloud Connector app establishes a connection between Capture and the Azure Cloud. These connections serve as the link between Capture and Azure storage containers defined in the cloud. Storage containers can be public, private, as well as configured for an individual, group, or company to retrieve or open Capture data stored in the cloud. Using the configuration dialog will establish a connection between Capture and the Azure container. The Add button dialog requires the name of a defined container and its security key. The security key controls access to the data in a container either within Capture or an external Azure Cloud application. We'll use ORCAD1 as our container name and paste the security key provided by Azure. Once the link to the container has been established, project data can be stored to or retrieved from the cloud. The configuration dialog also provides a directory path for cached project data to be stored locally in the event work needs to be done while not online and not connected to the Azure cloud. Next, we'll select Open Project from the Cloud Connector button. In the left pane of the Explorer window, the Azure container we previously established a link to in the configuration dialog is now displayed. Any future containers that are configured and linked to will also be displayed here. Clicking into the container and the folder tree reveals the project files and data previously stored in the cloud in the right side pane. To open a stored project or data file, we double click the object icon. The project and all of its related files are loaded into the capture environment. Once the project is open, design work can proceed as normal. When we're ready to save the project and store it back into the Azure Cloud, the menu picks to save the design and open another design are available in Project Manager. A right mouse click on the Project DSN shows the menu picks for opening and saving projects from the Azure Cloud. Any item present in the Project Manager will be saved along with the project file itself. In this way, additional content can be stored with the object. Automatically included items are reference projects, outputs such as PSPICE or PCB netlist, resource files, and simulation profiles. Adding additional content can be done through the Add File capability in Project Manager. Any type of file can be added, not just the associated files with Capture. Such files might include additional project documentation, PCB files, or other content to be stored with the project. When Save Project is initiated, the Save dialog is displayed that shows the files to be saved to the linked Azure storage container in the cloud. Any item can be interactively selected or unselected for save. Items highlighted in green are items that are new to the project container or have changed since being opened from the project container. Comments can be also added to the items saved. These comments will appear the next time the item is viewed in the Azure Container Explorer window. Another option at this point is to create an intelligent PDF of the design for others to review. In the Save Project dialog, the Generate PDF button will automatically invoke the Capture's built-in PDF export app and create an intelligent PDF file of the schematic design. Once the PDF is created, it will be automatically added to the output section of the Project Manager and also added to the list of items to be saved to the cloud. Selecting the Upload button, We'll now initiate the upload to the Azure Cloud and save all the objects highlighted in green off to the storage container that we defined in the configuration dialog. If we reopen the Container Explorer window and navigate to the project we just saved, the PDF file is displayed along with the saved project files. One of the features of the Azure Container Explorer window is the ability to generate an external URL for stored objects in Azure Containers. When the PDF icon in the right side pane is selected, the external URL is automatically generated in the field below. 
This external URL can be used to view the stored objects outside the capture environment. The URL can be sent to coworkers to view the PDF and review the design with a PDF reader. In order to view items placed in Azure storage containers outside a capture environment, third-party Windows Azure Container Explorers are required. There are several Azure Container Explorers available either as freeware and shareware or commercial paid applications. To highlight the use of an external Container Explorer, we'll launch a program called CloudBerry Explorer for Azure. Just like the Azure Cloud Connector app inside Capture, the CloudBerry Explorer window must also be configured to establish a connection to the Azure storage container where we have stored our data. In this case, ORCAD1 is used for the container name and will paste the security key provided by Azure to establish the connection. Once the connection is established, the Explorer window will display all the data we have stored in our ORCAD1 container. Additional data items can be managed with this program as well.